related services to the federal government. Welcome. Madam Chair, Ranking Member Graves, members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to testify today. My name is Linda Hilmer, and I am the founder, owner, president, and CEO of CorpCom, a small professional services contractor to the federal government, specializing in digital media production and strategic communications. I started the company in 2001 after having served in the federal government myself, including about 10 years in the procurement and acquisition arenas and marketing and communications. Let me just say that I absolutely love my job. I love supporting the United States government, and I love creating an environment where people can, can come to work and be creative, have fun, grow in their career, and make a difference. I wouldn't trade it for the world, which is why I'm here today. I want to make sure that the government gets the benefits of working with companies like mine, companies that have a culture that drives innovation, ownership, and hard work. My testimony today will address three issues and make five recommendations. The three issues are the federal acquisition workforce, contract bundling, and subcontracting to large primes. As the acquisition workforce is rebuilt, there needs to be a deliberate effort to put policies in place that resolve small business issues. For example, the small business contracting responsibility is usually one of many given to a contracting officer or a specialist. It's an other duties as assigned type of job with limited time and training. And to top it off, these specialists often report to managers who are not held accountable for small business achievement and enforcement. So how do we solve this problem? First, we establish a dedicated core of small business specialists with defined responsibilities and authorities. Second, we put accountability where it belongs, on senior executives. I applaud the recent bills put forth by the House addressing small business issues, especially the tying of goal accomplishment to senior executive pay bonuses. Please remember, though, that the SESs in charge of small business do not work in a vacuum. All senior executives in an agency, especially the senior procurement executive, need to have accountability and responsibility for meeting small business goals. Now let's talk about bundling. By bundling or consolidating requirements and contracts, the government is trying to reduce its workload and hold large primes responsible for small business goals. The use of bundled or consolidated contracts appears to be growing and work being performed by small businesses is rolling into these vehicles in the name of contract management efficiencies. We simply should not rely on large prime contractors to manage the government's small business program. A part of the solution is to require incentives, transparency, and accountability in how large businesses subcontract with, with small businesses over the entire life of the government contract. Another part of the solution is to strengthen the criteria and approval authorities necessary to even consider bundling. Small businesses such as mine don't have visibility into planning for bundled or consolidated requirements, even when I'm the prime contractor performing the work that may be bundled. Greater transparency will also help address the issues with subcontracting. Subcontracting to large primes is often the easiest way for small businesses to begin getting government experience. It's how I got my first government contract. The problem comes when large businesses use small businesses to meet goals to win the initial award, and then after award, the large businesses either never allow the small businesses to work, or they initially award them work but then slowly ease them out. We can solve this problem by requiring large primes to be transparent and accountable in their small business practices over the execution of a life of the contract. In conclusion, if the government institutes these recommendations, America's small businesses, such as mine, will answer the call to create many meaningful jobs and provide innovative products and services to the federal government. I look forward to continuing to work with members of Congress to strengthen small business participation in our government. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today. Thank you.